Hey guys, we wanted to play something relevant and topical today. So we're playing the seminal classic, Super Mario World. The seminal classic, huh? Alright, we're not doing any tutorial crap. How many patience for that? Mario Start. Such beautiful colors in this game. You know what's funny is I was playing Super Mario All-Stars, which is also on Super Nintendo, and it's a Mario game, and obviously. And then there's this, which is a Super Nintendo Mario game. But look at how beautiful the colors are here. And if you compare that to Super Mario All-Stars, I find the colors in that game to be nice, but not as nice looking as this game. Whoever did the color palette of this knew what they they were doing, because well, it's I mean, beautiful. That, that was one of the big selling points on the, uh, on the system. You know, even though you can only have 256 at once, it's still more, way more colors than the NES. Mm -hmm. You know? Look at this game. This game is freaking beautiful. It's beautiful. I mean, like, compared to the to other crap, we're going to get the one up here. Nice. Yeah. I hope we got Happy it. Happy little clouds. Yeah. But this game is not like Super Mario Brothers where it says 1-1, one, 1-2, one, 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 There's none of that, right? So... You don't actually know which one is the... Do the... There's something I forget. Do the stages have names? Or... Uh, well, they do. I know they do once you get to Star Road, because there's like Tubular and Radical yeah. and Bodacious and... All that stuff. All that good shit. I like the fire. I like the faces on the little fireballs. Fire. Fire. I thought it was funny as a kid eating the, uh, you know, eating the things and then he shits it out. Oh, the... Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's like, you know... I'm, with Nintendo, I'm almost surprised that they did that. It seems right. a little like they're going to make something shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I guess he's... Is he not shitting? He's laying an egg. Exactly. But he looks like he's shitting. You yeah, have no complaints with this game. This, ga this game, to me, is perfect. <laughs> Until that, right? Stupid fish. It's Everything has a flaw. You can find a flaw... You can find something good in the worst games, and you can find something bad in the best games. Right. Are, are you are you opening up the conversation, let's find out what's bad with Super Mario World? Is that is that the conversation well, we're most, about to have? Well, the first thing I'll say is most everything is good about Super Mario World. There, well, it, what Can you think of something bad about it? This is a very hard game to sure. think of something bad about. It doesn't keep track of what Dragon Coins you, you got, so it's not like you have the... Oh, I'm gonna get all the dragon coins challenge. Well, you but you you get five of them on each stage, right? There's five to get. So Isn't if you get there them, three? Uh, oh no, you're right. There's five. Yeah. So if you if you get them all, then you get five. So why would you need to keep track of them? Well, because like there's no like menu that says, oh, you got X of the coins. As if they were collectible, but that's not the purpose of them because it, if you get five of them, you just you're you gonna get an extra life. Right. It's not like if you get all of them on every stage, you know, you're getting rewarded something. But what I'm saying is that's what future games improved. They yeah. made it an alternate goal. Right. And, w and one of the most fun things about the future Mario games is going back into the stages. I, and yeah, and I love coins. that. And I love that in Mario Run. That was my favorite thing to do when the game was going and getting the, the coins. Yeah. Um, although I know that's not what originated that. They've been doing that for a long time. Yeah, that game would have been shitty, actually, um, if it didn't have that, in my opinion. Now, l let's let's go to, a, a, you know, a hated game, or a, a, a poor game, uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. We can find positive things to say about that. Can you think of so something positive to say about Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde? <sighs> It, it's kind of fun, like the like the challenge, like the challenge aspect of it. Like, like there is a certain strategy to it, for for better or for worse. Yeah, even though it's a very like flawed game, it's still fun. You can see where they were going with it. Like, it, it was a good concept, but it just a bit poorly executed. Yeah, the psycho wave. Yeah. By the way, this having this like transparencies and flipping and stuff blew people's minds back in the day. I love that. Yeah. This reminds me of like in in Mario Three. There's, I, there's the stages that that have their own locomotion. Like this is very much that. The scrolling stages. The scrolling sure, stages, sure. yeah. And w what's weird about this is like you can always stay before it. Mm -hmm. Like that doesn't kill you. Just knock him in. There you go. Yeah. Wait, wait for it. No, wait for it. You gotta wait for it to go, and then you yeah, knock him in. Yeah, one more. Boom. There you go. There you go. There you go. I Enjoy. think that this is the easiest Mario game. It is. It's definitely easier than... Mario 1's harder. Mario 2's harder. If, if you go through right. the whole game. If you use the warps, yeah. eh. 
But uh, if you go through the whole game, it's harder. Mario 3 is definitely harder. 64. 64 is harder. The game... Well, you know what? Uh, maybe like Mario Land Is Mario easier. Land easier? I it's shorter. It's, pr it's pretty easy. Yeah. I like the cape way more than the uh, the leaf, the, the, the raccoon. Yeah. Oh, me too. Yeah. The raccoon thing only lasts for so long. The cape you can go do forever. Yeah. Hey, look. And you can... And you can do the pound. And you can get higher. You don't have to do the pound, but... Oh, yeah, you can do the yeah. pound. I love the pound. You gotta pound it. You gotta pound it hard. But I like that you can get up higher. Yeah, there's there's a certain, like, cadence to it. But yeah. once you have it... It's a rhythm. Yeah, once you once you have the rhythm... And you can just go up... Oh, you know what? I want to try you this. You gotta do the alternate. Yeah. yeah. Let's, let's do this. There we go. Also, alternate exits are awesome. And one of the things I always thought was funny is your item at the it top. It takes it. It takes it. I'm going back because I want to do it the real way too. The real way. Yeah, but now you can just go. Yeah. No problem. Look at you go. The pipe. There it is. All right. No, see, and you go over the- Fly over the whole level. Yeah, I love that the ghosts go ape shit when you get down here. Those one-ups. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Exit. Yeah, but you know what's funny? In the ghost house, the backgrounds were very detailed. Yeah. I love yeah. The ghost houses. Ghost houses are cool. Yeah. It sounded like we were being sarcastic, but no, we weren't. No, we weren't. <laughs> no, I wasn't. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, those things are not fun. Thwomp's baby. Yeah, baby. How did Thwomp have a fucking baby? What does Thwomp sex look like? That's what I want to know. <laughs> who Who is Thwomp fucking? Get Thwomped. I have to tell you. Yeah? Thwomp sex, it rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Thwomp sex rocks! Uh, yeah. <laughs> that could be a t-shirt. Yeah. And then you fight the bow. Dun 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 don't waste them all. Don't waste them all. Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to kill him, Mike. It was so difficult. Woo. Just, just keep going down on the right. Yeah. I think there's gonna be one brick that's gonna stop you, but just keep staying to the right. You want to be all the way to the right. Oh, there it is, right there. There it is. Yeah. Oops. There you go. Isn't it interesting how he's still got it in his mouth, but the key opens. Yeah, open I don't know how that works. That's, yeah, it's, that's mushroom that's weird. magic right there. See, there's the pick. So you could bring it back. Yeah. Oh, there's that too. Oh, no. Okay. No, I'll be fine. I think I have a star. So, it's that. It's this. Yeah. Yeah. And stay to the left. Oh, okay. It's the water. And then you grab that and then you go down and around. We did it. I love that you asked me and I knew exactly where. Yeah. I'm like barely yeah. paying attention. That's good. It's like how many times I've played this fucking game. Yeah. So, my Super Nintendo story is horrifying. Because I was really into NES. Mm -hmm. Had a big stack of NES games. I remember it. Right next to my TV, big stack of NES games. I had a lot of games. And this is when I'm a kid I'm talking about. And the Super Nintendo was coming along and I was really excited for it. And I wanted to play this game right here. Like, I saw the ads for, for this and um, I, I would like, you know, I like to draw. I would like draw, like... I would try to draw Mario from this game before the game came out because there was like advertisements and stuff. I was like so all about this game and wanting to play it. Mm -hmm. So the time came to get the Super Nintendo and it wasn't near, I think, I want to say this system came out in like September or something. Yeah. Um, and I, that's when I got it because I didn't want to wait for Christmas and I didn't want to wait for my birthday. I wanted it the day it came out and I ended up getting it the day it came out, but it cost me big time because I was a kid and I didn't have any money. So my only source of income was to sell something that I had. So I sold all of my NES games and my Nintendo, uh, my NES, uh, to Funko Land, um, which wasn't even enough money. Oh wow! Uh, I remember it was like that, that many games, I, like eighty. It was games? the biggest. It was the worst decision I ever made. 
I mean, now I've got all the games back, so don't, <laughs> so don't worry. But yeah. uh, and I, I have for a long time. I was collecting NES games in college and all that. But uh, but for, you know, for a while, that that was my decision. I sold all the my NES games. I sold yeah. like eighty games, my NES controllers, all that, mm -hmm. and they gave me maybe like a hundred and something dollars for it. But then I also had some money of my own saved up, so maybe I had like whatever, $100 from a birthday or something like that, and then the money from Funko Land, and I took all that, and I went to Toys R Us, and I bought the Super, Super Nintendo with Super Mario World. Why didn't you get it at Funko Land? Um, not sure why. Uh, maybe, I I think I might have reserved it at Toys R Us or something, or I, I don't right. remember, who knows, it was a long time ago. Yeah. But I went to Toys R Us, and I got, I got the system, and I got the game, and I went home, and then, uh, at the time, I didn't have like a, te a television like this. I, I actually uh, only had a little travel television. So I beat this game on one of those little ass t televisions, which is so yeah. shitty. But that's that's all I had at the time. Right. Um, and that that's my memory is coming home from school, uh, whatever grade I was in, third grade or fourth grade or something, coming home, playing Super Mario World on this little teeny television, and. Uh, I absolutely love the game. I remember back then my favorite uh, level being the whole forest level, the forest of illusion. I yeah. absolutely love that. And I played this game and I played it and I played it and I played it. And um, I wasn't really upset about not having all those NES games, at least not for a while. But then maybe like a year or something went by. Because I, I was also, like Christmas came along and you know I got like Zelda and stuff, so I was happy with the Super Nintendo for a while, but eventually I started to be like, oh fuck, I want those NES games. So, so you know, eventually I started getting them back. I think I bought one from Funko Land again right. or whatever I did. At that time, like when the Super Nintendo was going on, the price of Nintendo games crashed. Like you could get. Oh my god, you could get them so cheap. It was it was so cheap. You could get and Nintendo you games, NES games were cheap up until around I'd say about 2004, 2005, and then. They started to skyrocket, probably with the advent of YouTube might have been one of the reasons why, because uh, gaming got more popular again and stuff. But uh, I collected NES games throughout college and uh, prior prior to YouTube. And at that time, you, I got games like Little Samson and things like that for like 20 bucks, 30 bucks, yeah. which are like hundreds and hundreds of dollars now. Ba back in the day, if you had like, like 50 bucks, you could get a bunch of games and have like a pretty good time. Like Yeah. It, in 2002, 2003, you could go into, you know, like a Funko Land with, if you had like $300, you could buy like hundreds of games. Yeah. It was, it was a totally different world. It, it was unbelievable. Now you can buy one rare game for that much money. Yeah. Whereas there you'd be getting them all. Pretty much. Yeah. So, you know, I know, uh, you know, people talk a lot about the uh, retro gaming, the bubble, like the bubble's gonna burst. But the thing is, is like retro retro gaming and gaming in general is just getting more and more popular. And you know about esports, yeah, and, and all the shit going on with esports. Video games are not going away. They're getting more popular over the years. So people talking about, oh, the gaming bubble's gonna burst. I don't think it's gonna burst. I think it's gonna get higher or it's gonna stay the same. But I don't think it, you're gonna see. Because do you really think that five years from now, six years from now, eight years from now, you, you're gonna be able to get a cheap little Samson? Shit, no, no, shit no. no. What? Why, why would that happen? I mean, not only do you have all the people who invested all their time and money, all but... of a, all of a sudden the, the bubble's gonna burst and then everything's gonna be cheaper again. You wish, you wish that was gonna happen. Yeah, you know, maybe 40, 50 years from now, but not not anytime soon. Well, I mean, do you see the people of 40, 50 years from now being like, who knows? We'll probably be dead. You know? Yeah. No. Do you see those? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I mean, no, I mean, but do you see the the people of that future being like fuck video games? I I don't think so. I mean, like even like little kids, like five year olds now, play video games, right. and, and like and, like, the, and this stuff will be maybe even more expensive and more rare because it's older and people still want it. Yeah, because they want you know we're still collecting Pong consoles and the Magnavox Odyssey. You know we're still holding on to that, and that's from thirty something oh, years ago. I you know more up. than that. Go yeah, on. like like how much is like a Vectrex worth or like hundreds of dollars? Right. So I mean, and and that's from and a, depends on condition and if I, it's in the box. And is that's from a time before NES when when video games weren't 
as popular as they are now, you know? No. Super Mario Brothers really... Well, I mean... Yeah, games are more popular now. That's a yeah. whole other discussion. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, I mean, it's it's more part of the culture. There's like, yeah, all kinds of shit going on. So you know, one thing I, I got to talk about is like that, that that weird period between like the '90s and like bef- and before YouTube. Yeah. There was that period of like '98 na- to like 2006 or so where gaming was like not as popular and if you were like sitting around playing nes and like atari and stuff you were not cool you know now it's like everybody's fucking you know like kids now that are like 10 years old are going into GameStop, stop trying to get like nes classics and stuff like that and it's like because of you know they're selling these retro games on the nintendo eShop and all that but there was a period where there was dorks like me who was who were going to try to get old atari games and old nes games people like pat you know country and uh and and it wasn't popular and we were not cool doing that but now everything's changed and then there was the kids playing, like, whatever the new stuff was, like Tony Hawk and whatever. Like, in that time period, people were playing Tony Hawk, they were playing shooters, they were playing games like Siphon Filter, you, you know, and, and they were playing GoldenEye, mm-hmm. and they were playing shit like that. But but the people who were playing GoldenEye and, like, Madden and stuff were not playing... Atari 2600. Atari 2600. Right. I remember, I remember going to, like, Philly Classic and stuff like that, and it was all, like, old dudes, like... <laughs> it was. And a lot of that was holdovers from the arcade generation. You know, I'd go to a lot of those early arcade conventions, and you'd see guys trying to get high scores in games like Nibbler and, uh, you know, Pac-Man, Donkey Kong, yeah. you know, Asteroids, that kind of stuff. And it's like, that's how video games started you know, with, with those type of games, asteroids and things, and it's like that's n- so far removed from where gaming is at now. Yeah, now, which is, now it's speed running, but speed running on consoles. Well, those guys yeah. weren't really speed running; they were get, trying to get high scores. Right. You know, because those games were like endless. Yeah. But now, like with games that have an end, there has to be a new outlet. So it's like, what's the best time? Time. Time is. Yeah. But it's thing. the same thing. Yeah. Oh, oh, I got criticism. What is with the, the fucking world map sprite? <laughs> this is like the worst. <laughs> Look at this thing. Look at Mario. Oh, uh, like Mario on the Oh, map. he's like. Yeah. Is that what he's like? Yeah, that's, that's exactly what he's like. You can do the spin on those, you know. Oh, can you? Yeah. I didn't know that. You, the A button. Or you can do that. Oh, you, that's what you need. Go back. I oh, do I? I think. So you just gotta, I think it's that one, the middle one. There you go. Grab it and bring it with you. And go all the way to the right and don't hit it until you get there because like, there's coins. Oh, here you go. Yeah. Pretty sure it's that. Yeah. So many cool characters in the first couple of years of the Super Nintendo from this guy to like Aghanim or whatever, the guy from Link to the Past to... I got to tell you a story about that guy and about this level. Yeah. So, and this is going back to when this game originally came out. So I had another friend who was, you know, really into this and everything. So I was over his house and um, we were, we were actually not playing this. We were playing something else. Maybe we were playing Street Fighter or something. And his dad was a doctor. And I... I know that he had sort of stricter parents and he was right. like, you know, you got to go to bed at a certain time, get your homework done, all that kind of stuff. And uh, I was over hit this kid's house late, late, like later than I should have been, you know, and we were playing video games and his dad wasn't home. His dad was out at work and we got a phone call and his dad was on the phone and uh he asked to talk to me and I was like, Oh fuck. Like I'm going to get in trouble for being, right. for being here. And he's, he's like, my dad wants to talk to you. So he puts me on the phone and I'm like, hello, Mr. So-and-so. And he, he's like, is this Michael? I'm like, yeah, I'm like, yes, sir. And he's like, and I'm like, here it comes. This is going to be like terrible. He's like, so I'm playing uh, super Mario world and we're on level That's four. So funny. He's like at work playing this. They had, a, they brought the super Nintendo to work. He's like, I'm trying to get by the wizard guy. What do I do? <laughs> and I'm like, Oh, you, you just like hit the, hit the yellow block. And he's like, Oh, that's how you get him through. Thanks. Thanks, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> That's and funny. That's, I thought I was in like deep shit. That's so funny. But then I came out to be the hero. Oh, he's going to be here. 
That's one. There's two. This fight is not hard. No, it's not. Oops. I don't want to do that. Oh, is he going to shoot out like... That's it. Boom. There you go. Th this is how you do cutscenes right. Yeah. You play a whole level, then they show you a little scene, a little funny thing, and then you play a whole level. You're rewarded with a little thing because you've played the game for a while. Now you, you want to take a break for a second. You yeah. get to see something. Not like, oh, let me watch 45 minutes and then get to play. And then you play for a little bit. Yeah. You don't want that. <laughs> I know we're going to have this conversation. Who's the guy? Oh, it's Torpedo Ted, everybody! <laughs> <laughs> that's not that's not an underwater bu bullet bill, guys. That's Torpedo Ted. That's right. Making an appearance. I feel like I'm on like the Macy's Day Parade. <laughs> and then we got the Torpedo Ted float. Making his appearance. Making his appearance with Mickey Mouse's hand dropping him. <laughs> yeah, Mickey Mouse. <laughs> What is up with that? Yeah, where did where they get that hand? Well, Mario has those kind of gloves too, doesn't he? Oh, does he? Pretty sure. And so you know what? So does Bugs Bunny. And why why is he only have four, three fingers? I just found out the secret to mascot success. To mascot success. It's those fucking white gloves with the three lines on. Yeah, and the the, <laughs> the white cup. the white like gentleman's glove. Yeah. Oh, is that what that's from? Yeah, it's like back in the day. You know, yeah. it's it's the same glove that. Men would take their hand, the, take it's off, smack. smack you across the face, yeah. and be like, you know, I'll meet you outside. You knave. You. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. You know? It's just like boom. Exactly. Yeah. Why don't we do that anymore? Let's bring that back. Yeah. On the next episode, I expect you to have. Those I'm gonna gloves. have like white glove. I'm gonna be in tails with white glove. I wore hat. the actual those actual gloves in as Bugs Bunny. Yeah. Uh, I wore gentlemen's gloves. But were they like puffy? No, they were not they? puffy. They were the yeah. real fucking like uh, gentlemen's gloves. That's great. I have accuracy in my Bugs Bunny costume. Yeah. That was a very accurate Bugs Bunny costume. I'm sure there was. Do you remember yeah. that Bugs Bunny yeah, costume? Yeah, I don't remember the episode of Bugs Bunny where he got covered in <laughs> shit. It was the most accurate Bugs Bunny costume yeah. you'll ever say. Ooh. You gotta do, like, all this you gotta, you gotta do the, the, yeah. I love games that let you do the bouncing off of enemies though, like that. Like yeah, where yeah. where you can do like the jumps in the air, like you're doing. This is gonna oh I fucked it up. Look at you showing off. Boom. Take him out. Ah. Oh, one more. Yeah, well. There's a crazy trick in the beginning of the Japanese Mario. Where you get like infinite lives. Where, yeah, the infinite yeah. life trick. Oh, you know about that one. Yeah. I mean there's a lot of there's a lot of places where you can do it yeah. and all the Mario games. Oh, this is gonna be one. Yeah. So there you go. You were talking about the difficulty being too easy. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Like that's a way to get more play value out of it. Oh, to start doing that kind of stuff for yeah. extra challenge. Sure. I mean, there are people who play this game, and this is the uh, like. It's le it's like Legend of Zelda for me. I know that Zelda is a harder game for most people, yeah. but I played it so much that it's become easy. Mm -hmm. so that's why I started doing shit like the sor the Swordless Run and stuff. Yeah. Th and that's what's great when a game is so good that you want to keep playing after you've done everything there is to do, and you've become so good at it that you're like, I still want to play the game. What can I find mm -hmm. to do in the game? Can you think of a modern example of that? I have one. What's where, that? where people are very, very like that. I'm not sure. Um, Grand Theft Auto. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I, I mean, love Grand Theft Auto. I mean, there's people, like, out in the woods, like, looking for big Looking for anything like, to do, yeah. Like, they're like, oh, what about this, yeah. like, Easter egg in this place? Absolutely. And, that's a great example. Yeah, that's, like, the the modern game that's like that. I'm looking forward that's for... That's probably my favorite modern game. Or one of them. Between that and Happy Room, we have a... Well, Happy Room's great, too. You have a bad track record. Oh. <laughs> You're like, so yeah. Sure. You know what I like? I like the, the gang warfare murder hooker simulator. It's really good. Uh, between that and the, the, the snuff film Grand, death room okay. simulator. Grand Theft Auto V is one of the most popular video games there is. Yeah. Still. And it came out, what, a couple years ago? Yeah. And it keeps getting, they keep adding stuff into multiplayer. And they it's should, like, it's great. How do you feel about like the latest trend of like games that never end? 
Like where they just keep adding content. Oh, slow down. That was a lot of slow down. Um, yeah. I, I don't... I don't think I have a problem with it because you're getting more out of... Like, what if you absolutely love a game? You know, I love Zelda. Yeah. So if Nintendo kept giving me more Zelda shit, and I know they do, but I'm talking about, like, the original top-down right. Zelda. If they kept, if Nintendo just kept giving me more Zelda shit, I'd be happy because I love that gameplay. So if you have a game that you love and they're continually adding things, I think that's a good thing. Let's say, let's say imagine if they were still making new levels and power-ups and items from the original Zelda. I would love Like, that. every six months, oh there's, God. like, a patch. If, if Nintendo wants money out of my pocket, yeah. they'd be doing that. They'd be what doing. is the problem? How have they not done, like, more original NES Zelda? Like, yeah. They, that, they've made so fucking... And don't tell me it's not a viable thing, because new Super Mario Brothers, how many of those have they made? Oh, Lui uh, Luigi's version, yeah. the, the Wii version. Like, there's a million of those now. And, and they hadn't done Zelda. And, yeah. Oh, fuck. I mean, imagine... And it, I know they did the DS right. game. Which was good. That game was great. But I mean, like, 8-bit. Yeah. You know? I just think that if they had a team that did nothing but churn out Zelda, Mario, and Metroid levels. Yes. And you buy the base game, and then it's not Mario Maker where it's like some asshole online building a perpetual motion machine or whatever. It's like... From, like, a team of, like, people, it's, like, tested and... And I'm not saying I don't want to see new Zelda. I want to see them do, like, Breath of the Wild type stuff. Keep doing that, but there should always... Did, did you see that? But you're right, yeah. Oh, yeah, you have to oh, go yeah, up you can the do that. It's, yeah. it's, like, a secret thing. It's part of it, yeah. Um, they should always have somebody doing a new Zelda, a new Mario, a new Metroid in, like, the old style and just release it, like, once a year or something or once every two years or whatever. That I mean, hell, once every five years would be more than what we get for fucking Metroid, you know? They should just keep doing that because we'll keep buying it, just keep adding new things, just keep doing it, making it. So that's uh, L uh, Ludwig. Ludwig. Ludwig, yeah. yeah. You can tell by the hair, right? Yeah. <laughs> He's just off the screen now. Oh, no, I can move it. It was for a second I couldn't move it. Yeah. I guess when he's. Yeah, like right. Oh, man, never mind. I don't know. I felt like I couldn't move the screen for a second. Maybe they locked the screen to do the scaling. I wonder if they locked the screen when sure. he's scaling. Maybe. That would be a weird thing. No, you know what? I think I was no. just wrong. Whoa. Yeah, that would suck. You kill him and then. He does the wily e. coyote, like. Yeah. And now we're going into the forest of illusion. Uh, uh, my favorite from being a kid. Oh boy. But I'm such a nice guy that I'm going to let you do oh it. Oh my God. See, it's all about being friendly with playing Nintendo games. Exactly. Look at the trees. Look at how, actually, they don't look very friendly, do they? They're little, they look kind of happy. This is the scariest that Nintendo can get. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, like a little crooked smile. A little crooked. Now, now we got to deal with all these worms or caterpillars. So, so is this this one has multiple exits? It does. Underneath, it, in the oh, can't do that. in the middle of the level, there's some logs, and what's going to happen is you're going to get a balloon, and you're going to suck the helium out of the balloon, and Mario is going to become a big fat guy. And you're gonna float in the air underneath and you're gonna get to where the keyhole is. That's how that's gonna work. Oh, fuck you, game. What the hell? Uh, Wiggler? I think that's Wiggler. Yeah. Who, he's happy until you hit his flower, then he gets mad. And then later on, he turns into a butterfly and his name is Flutter. Really? Are you just, are you fucking with me? I don't remember that. That's because it's from a game that you're not big on. Mario Party. Oh, fuck my. So do I go under or over? Left and down. Down, 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 oh, down. Under. I don't know if you'll be able to make it now. Maybe you can. I'm going. I think you'll make it. Just keep going. Good. And stop. Just stop. Float there until it dissipates. Yeah. And then it's in the... There you go. It's easy. Yep. So that's the alternate exit. And then I gotta do the regular exit. Mm-hmm. What is with the foreground trees here? Instead of it just being trees in the background, they're like, how do we show them that it's a, not just, you know, the woods, but it's a fucking forest. Yeah, right? there's a difference between woods and a forest. There is. Yeah. Woods only have uh, background trees. Woods, forest. Woods, you think of like squirrels and shit. 
Yeah. The forest is like bears. Yeah, right. <laughs> right? Yeah. Caterpillars. <laughs> Fucking giant caterpillars. Norse gods. <laughs> 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 oh fuck. Yeah, fuck you. Lakitu's fishing. He's one of the harder Mari Mario enemies. Oh, oh, that's one of the things I love. Oh, go back, go back, get in the cloud. Oh, you get in the cloud. Yeah, yeah, I love that, you gotta show that. Oh, we're in the cloud? I don't know, that was cool. Yeah. You know, that's I love how he's hiding That's something out. you couldn't do in any other Mario game. Yeah. Is there another Mario game where you can do that? I don't think there is. Or you can do that. Here we go. Let's unlock the switch. All right. Oh look, we've come full circle. Nintendo Switch. So do you know where this thing is? Do you remember? Oh yeah, this dude's yeah. out to kill me. He's like an assassin. Keep going right and then go down. This, you go down here and then to the left and that's where the, if there's an invisible wall, you'll say if you can not die, which would be very interesting. Oh boy, that's not good. Wow, that was skillful. Go to the left. That wall okay. But is before we do that, let's do this. Invisible wall. Yeah, that was pretty easy. And it's like blatantly obvious it's there too. Yeah. This is the hardest level in this section. So, let's see how you do. No pressure. Ba bomb. There's an enemy that came from Mar. Uh, Mario 2. Mario 2. There you go. Yeah. That's true. The American Mario 2. Doki Doki Panic! I love that sound. Wow. Alright, this is it. Don't fucking get hit and lose your fucking... Ditch Yoshi or something, just get up there. I'm not ditching Yoshi. Yoshi's a fucking me, asshole. Me and the Yosh man are going... The Yosh man. ...are going the distance. Me and Big Yoshi. Okay. You're scaring me now. <laughs> me and Big Yoshi. Fucking ghost fishermen. They it's like the to do a lot of cloud fishing shit in this game. Yeah. What was what was up? That was um, that Miyamoto one day. He was like, you know what Mario needs more of? <laughs> ghost fishing in clouds! Uh. <laughs> It's like when I was in a cave in Kyoto fishing. <laughs> <laughs> the blue fire, the blue fire. Remember, remember the blue candle from from Zelda. We're bringing it back, but in all new way. Oh, this part. Look at look at these blocks. So these guys follow you. You gotta turn your back to them, and you have to get them to follow you all the way over here. Yeah. When you and fuckers. then you turn, you turn towards them, and they'll turn into stone. And then you like Medusas. Yeah, and then you you jump on them. Yep. But you you do it like you have to like jump and. Oh, you mother! Oh wait, that'll be perfect. Well, that's perfect. All right, you did it. So is this the alternate exit or the main uh, we exit? We will see. Or the only exit? Can you eat these dudes? No, nope. you can eat the small ones though, right? Yeah. Right oh. in front of their mother. Oh, that's... <laughs> that's brutal. <laughs> yeah. and, then, and then you know what's the, even better? Huh. Watch this. Ready, ready? Yeah. <laughs> I just killed the whole family. There you go. You Fuck them. This is just a game of death. Look at these yeah, happy, at like, turtle things. Just kill him. What Mario's did they ever do? fucking murdering them all. Mario's, like, chain murdering. See that little maneuver? Yeah. That was, alive. that was all right. Where's the exit? Where's the alternate exit? Come on. <laughs> You're like, yeah, that was great. When's this level over? <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Oh, that's good. Well, let's get another mushroom. There you go. <laughs> good job. <laughs> All right. Uh, there you, there's the dinosaurs from level one. It's yeah, a callback. There they are again. There they are. That's the regular. But exit. we have to go back because it wasn't. It was the right. <laughs> I'm like, the right I'm, exit. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, this is the weird level where it's like all about timing and yeah. there's like an alternate 
Exit, yeah. depending. It is. I don't know the exact deal with it. Look at this fucking situation. Oh, I had to fuck it up. <laughs> Give me more. Give me more. You ever get them all? I have before in my life. But yeah. Not today. Was that was that like a good day? It was a good day to die. <laughs> Mr. Worf. Mr. Worf. We haven't gone Mr. Worf. We talked about Zelda. Now I'll talk about Mr. Worf. You know, he's not a true Klingon. Yeah. <laughs> ah! Ah! This is the best Mario game. Uh, you would not be saying this if you were a Klingon warrior, Wolf. A, a Klingon warrior would not be playing this baby game. He would be out murdering other Klingons. But you are not doing that because you are pot. Human, you are raised human. with humans. You are weak with human ways. <laughs> human. <laughs> Sorry. It's not usually like a human. That's like what they human. say. Human. What, what did you just say? Human. 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 <laughs> human. <Wow>, human. human. <laughs> <laughs> You're a human. What kind of man are you? Human. <laughs> If Gowron ever started talking like that, I'd be scared. That'd be the last episode. Yeah, right. <laughs> that's, we, the, that's the unaired, deleted scene that you didn't what, get to say. What is that fucking guy doing? He's 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 recording. <laughs> he's watching. He's watching Deep Space Nine on fucking VHS Dude, tapes right now. He's watching on DSI. Netflix. Re remembering when the it's glory like, days, <laughs> the glory of the Empire. Ah! I remember when I had a career. Why do we have to shit on like old fucking actors? Was, old time nineties like dude, actors <laughs> like, that we like. I remember. I remember that episode of DS. I remember when we shit all over the legacy of the next generation. Yeah. Uh, what do you think of the color palette of this level? What does it remind you of? Shit, Mike. It, like it's shit brown, like like a pile of shit. What about those little like spots? The, they're like. I don't know. Speckled shit. Bro. I What, what? That, that's what I was looking for. You, yeah. you answered it. Thank you. Yeah. That's like, 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 if your shit looks like that, you're sick. You, you, need, <laughs> yeah. you need medical attention, <laughs> basically. Sick. Look at you. Look at that. Well, you weren't intending to do that, but it... I was, actually. You were? Yeah. You were? I wow, was. that was good. And if I wasn't, I would I would tell you. I, I, I believe we, we have that kind of... I love, you know, he's trapped. Yeah. We trapped him. Fuck that guy. Trapped his baby. There's to be See, there. he's pissed because his baby's trapped. Yeah, that's good. But or was covered in Here's shit though. Resner. Well, you fuck the, There's way too many of these fucking assholes. Way too many. Yeah, I mean, compared to the fucking guy in Mario Three, the guy like this. Boom boom. Boom boom. And the cool thing about him is he changes. When the first time you fight him, he's just like this. And then he's like flying around. Then he's shit. flying around. He does the spike thing. Yeah, the spikes. Yeah, these guys do the same shit every time. Yeah, it's awful. Mario 3 is a better game. Mario. And I'm not going to... I love this game. Love it. It's great. But Mario 3 is better. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, there's this down here. Isn't there? Oh, no, there's not. I thought that was a little secret thing. The sunken ghost ship. I have a question. Do you think this ghost ship is a relic from Mario 3? Like, it's been here since then? Never thought of that. You know, like, that's what like I thought. it's one of the ships? It's one of the crashed. ships that crashed. But that is assuming that this is taking place in the same area that... Maybe this ship, the ship drifted in water. Yeah. Because there's areas of Mario 3 that are... In water. This is also the only ghost house where you have Yoshi. I don't know. I don't think they put that much thought into it. I think it's just a fucking sunken ship. That's a really good thought, though. Honestly, I never thought about that. Yeah. It's haunted with the ghosts of all the bombs that you killed. <laughs> That's yeah. why they're, like, small and round like that. Yeah. Booze are dead bombs. Yeah. Look at all these theories. Why don't you work for Nintendo? Conspiracy theories. Well, everybody wants to talk about, like, continuity of, like, the stupidest things. They're like, what's the continuity of Angry Birds? Don't worry about the chronology of... The Zelda timeline? The Zelda... Don't worry about the Zelda timeline, because, like... Because there is no fucking There's timeline. no Zelda timeline. 
if you're worried about the Mario timeline, just... The, the game is called The Legend of Zelda. It's a legend. There's no timeline. It's in the fucking title. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're just you're just setting yourself up for heartbreak. If you're worried about the chronology, you know? You know what a legend is, right? It's a story told from generation to generation. Yeah. I tell you a story, you tell it to the next person, they tell it to the next person, like a game of telephone. By the time it gets to the 10th person, the story has been changed because somebody tells it a little bit differently. Exactly. They tell their own interpretation. That's what each Zelda game is. So there's no fucking timeline. Bowser is like in a fucking casino back yeah. there. Like, what is going on? The welcome to the Bowser Casino. Is that treasure? Is that gold? I, I, I always thought that was gold. Yeah. That's interesting. And all the coins and stuff. It's like, yeah. you know, you gotta just, you gotta get the money. Gotta get the money. Uncle Scrooge's money. Mm. Yeah. We didn't get that one, so. Money mold can't stop me now. I'll take it. So why is it why is it called The Last Jedi? The new one? Because Luke Skywalker is the last Jedi. Yeah, but what about Rey? Now she doesn't know off. that she's like a Jedi, yeah. Okay. Whatever. If you're like whipping out lightsaber, well, like she has, she has um force abilities, but she's not a Jedi, right? Because she wasn't trained. You're not trained. You're not a Jedi unless you're trained. Yeah, but it's right? like the last Jedi until Tuesday. Like, w right? Why is it the last? Like, literally, there's like two people who foreseeably could be a Jedi. So let's have that conversation. Who is the parents of Rey? I, she must be Luke's daughter. Well, who is Luke with then? Exactly. Well, we don't know, right? Because he's well. Been there was a grave at, at on that planet at the end of the movie wasn't there like a little grave or something she walks by you see it for like a second yeah it's like one of those little easter egg things so i think maybe it's the grave of the wife and luke's daughter is ray i guess i mean that's interesting i mean at least what it's do you something. think do you have any theories or no not really okay you're like i don't care fuck that no i mean like i just don't feel like i feel like maybe it's not even relevant to the story I mean, it might not, but I'm just curious, like, who... she's. Do you think she's not related to anybody? She must be, because she's she has Force abilities. Yeah, but there was, like, a gazillion Jedi. Yeah, but how many were alive still in, at, by the point to have kids? Right. Not really many. Right, because, because for her, like, it pretty much has to be someone... Leia or Luke's kid. Like, one of them. Like, because they're the only ones that have the fucking Force... Because because Anakin's kids. What if Anakin had another kid? No, oh, because it oh. doesn't make sense. The timeline doesn't yeah. make sense. Yeah, Darth Vader's like banging. I, don't I feel like the only thing that makes sense is that it's Luke's daughter. Right. And maybe that's part of what the new movie's about. Not only does she find out, she finds Luke, Luke Skywalker, but she finds out, I am your father. She right. finds out that's her but, father. But do you need to have, do you need to be like... Do your parents need to be Jedi for you to be a Jedi? I don't think so. Well, like Anakin, he was just give he was just like given the Force, like, right? He, yeah. I don't know. You think that that's not even important? Like maybe they don't want to even explain it at all. Exactly. I don't know. I think that that needs to be explained. Well, because I guess Star Wars has always been a story. About families. That's right. So that's why yeah. I feel like it's an important thing. Because because otherwise, who the fuck is Ray and who cares if she's not related to right Han Solo or you know? No, make it makes sense. I think that the story of this trilogy is going to be the redemption of Kylo Ren. Yeah, I think. I, so like too. I think Kylo Ren will become a Jedi at the end of the three movies. Like I don't think he's gonna have to die. Like he won't be. He won't die and he won't be evil. He'll. He'll end up killing uh, the Emperor. Uh, maybe. Snoke, or Snoke or yeah. whatever is his name. Snoke? I mean, yeah. maybe. Yeah. Like, I, I think this trilogy... I mean, is that... I don't know. Is that all it's going to be? That's what it's going to be. Well, what else could it be? Do we care enough about Kylo Ren to care that he's going to, like, do that? Because 
I mean, isn't because then what is the point of Ray? Like she ha she needs to do something heroic. If if he ends up killing Snoke, it's like, well, what what did Ray do? Why then? was she even there? Why was she even there if he ends up killing Snoke? Yeah, you know. So I don't know if it's gonna go in that direction. Because what is her ultimate thing she's gonna do? She has to do something really heroic, right? Because she's right. like the hero of the whole fucking thing. Right. So what is she gonna do? She's gonna be trained by Luke to do what? To fight, obviously, some great force. Oh, fuck these and guys. I don't need these guys And right Snoke now. is training... Snoke is building up Kylo Ren. Yeah. So she's gonna either kill Kylo Ren or kill Snoke. Right. Or maybe kill both of them. I don't know. But then there's fucking Finn, and he's gotta, like, do something important, too. I mean, Finn is, like... See, the problem is, we in the, in this series, we have two Han Solos. I don't care about that character at all. Yeah. I felt like there wasn't enough of him in that movie for me to... Because um, he was just captured and... He, then was, he, he was, was, like, captured and then he's, like, in a... In a tie, in, not a TIE fighter. In, in an X-Wing for, like, half the movie. And it's, like, he didn't really have that much screen time. So I didn't, like, get to even really care about him. Where Finn, I, I felt a little more for. He was in the movie more. There aren't many candidates as to who her father is. It's not like, you know, Lando Calrissian is going to be her father. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. It's, it's really just a question of, is it L Luke and some woman that we don't know? Right. Or Leia and Han? Mm-hmm. It's like, I think that's the only possibility. Or what if it's, like, Han's, like, bastard child? Like, like Han um, and, like, another woman? Like... Yeah, that's true. Wouldn't it be a tr Or Leia... And, and like, Leia and another like dude. Yeah, like it's like so. that would be like I would not expect that like Leia and some other random dude's daughter. Yeah, right. It could I mean it could be. Yeah, that'd be Leia's bastard son. <laughs> Leia's bastard daughter, whatever you want yeah, to call it. Yeah, exactly. Isn't he the same dude that you fought in the first level? Yeah, pretty much. I think the other guy had blue hair or something. Yeah, he is. There you go. Thank God. Beat him. Now you gotta beat the... Uh, no, that's not how we usually do these things. How we usually do those things is the person who does the last level. You want me to do that? Does the last level. I mean, I can beat the... the Bowser's Castle isn't as hard as that. In my opinion. But yeah, that might be harder. I think it's harder. Before you hit that, so look in the background. You see him flying around back yeah. there. Do you think that they kind of ruined that? It's like we already know... Like, as soon as you enter this, you can see him flying around back there. Now we know what, now the we know what it's going to be like. Yeah. Yeah. Like, how would you ever do this if you didn't have the fucking um, cape? I mean, you could do it, but it's a lot easier with the cape. The cape makes life better. Yeah, it does. Do oh, by the way, more Mario 2 characters. Look at this throwback. Yeah, those guys. Yep. I think those are called ninjits. Ninjits. Or something like that. All right, here we go. Uh-oh, here we go. I'm not going to talk shit on this boss fight till I, like, do it. But it's it's easy, but I'm not going to talk right. shit on it. No, it's for a boss fight and a final boss fight, it's, yeah. it's pretty easy. I mean, you might die, like, once or twice, but, like, you'll get it, you know? Yeah. Like that. Mm -hmm. Explain to me, what is he in? What is that? It's a happy flying machine. What is that? Something that doesn't exist in our world. Right? Yeah. Like, I want that. I want to take that to wherever I'm going. <laughs> Peach is gonna drop something now, I think. Like a mushroom or something. Hopefully. There's gonna be fire coming from the top, so watch yeah. out. Yeah. There you go. Nice. Sweet. The fact that she gives you like mushrooms and shit also makes this really, really easy. Like if you had to do this without yeah. getting hit or something, okay, it might be tough, but. And she comes out again and also gives you like another mushroom, I'm pretty sure. The other thing is like those balls are not hard. No. It's harder to just fight him than yeah. do that. 
skill with the balls. I mean, you can jump over them and you can do it like the spin over them. It's like there's multiple. Yeah. But I mean, what do you really expect? I guess. Um, no, I, I should I shouldn't say. That. I was about to say like it's a it was you know a game that Nintendo expected so many people to play, so maybe they wanted to tone it down and make it a little bit easier. But at the same time, like Mario One is tough. Mario Three that's a pretty tough game. Like yeah. beating that whole end level, you know, with the sh the ships and the tank and everything. So, you know, I think the game should be difficult. At least at this point, it should be. This is fucking nothing compared to Castlevania. Yeah. Nothing. <laughs> Look, it has a tear on it. There it is. There it is. Man, she looks messed up. <laughs> Look at that princess. <laughs> he blushes. So where's Luigi? The, Mario, the Princess Yoshi, and his friends. Luigi. They don't even say his name. He did get totally shafted. He, yeah. The fireworks. There's just some sad fireworks. And then Yoshi's Island. Luigi's not in that either, right? No. On Super Nintendo, Luigi just got... Luigi didn't get his until, like... He was Game in Smash Cube. Brothers. GameCube. Yeah, with, with Luigi's uh, Mansion. Yeah. yeah. Luigi's Mansion's alright. I like Luigi's Mansion. That's a game we could play. This is a great game. This is a standard. This is a classic. I think that this game writes the rules for side-scrolling platform games. And if you're trying to make a platform game, you your start should be studying this. Yeah. This is the benchmark. Yeah. It's the uh, foundation for... And the, any kind of side-scrolling game. And there's not many games you could name that are better. Like, if you were saying, I want to name better platformers, that's, like, an impossible The controls are pretty much perfect. Somebody should do a claymation version of that, kind of like the first issue of Nintendo Power. That would be really cool. So, Super Mario World, great game, obviously. Yep. As you guys know. Thanks for watching. Thanks.